What's going on guys? So I am out here at the Houston RV Show and we're taking a look at several of the units out here at the Ron Hoover booth. So specifically, we've been spending some time with the new Alliance products. Now this is definitely a new product from the folks over at Alliance because I think most people haven't really seen bumper pull trailers from Alliance. Most of the time you see big fifth wheels. But not only is this a bumper pull trailer, it's actually a bumper pull toy hauler. So really, really interesting things that they've done with this. Let's take a closer look at it. Hang tight, I'll be right back. Okay, let's start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 13,000 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 3,418 pounds. It's gonna have an unloaded weight of 9,542 pounds and it's gonna ride on twin 6,000 pound axles. So the axle capacity is just 1,000 pounds shy of the gross vehicle weight rating. This is actually a pretty good setup. Unloaded weight of this unit is pretty high, 9,542 pounds. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to be cautious on what type of tow vehicle you use to tow a unit like this. It's gonna have quite a bit of tongue weight, but some of that tongue weight can be offset by some of the weight that you put in the back. So if you haul this thing without any toys in the back, it's definitely gonna have a, a heavier tongue weight than what most half tons and even some three quarter tons are capable of hauling. Once you start putting weight in the back that kind of offsets it a little bit, it'll equalize things out a little bit. But you do always have to be careful because toy haulers are inherently heavy when they're not loaded up in the back because they need to be able to balance out when you decide to put your heavy toys in the back of the unit. Anyways, we're going to take a close look at the interior of this unit. I love that front cap. And then we'll come back out and uh, see what all they've done on the outside. Okay, so let's hop up the aluminum fold-out steps into this Alliance Valor 31T13. And the 13 designation here is actually the length of the garage. So it has a 13 foot garage on it. Asdell sidewall construction. So it has a composite sidewall material. It basically prevents water intrusion, which is really, really important. And it is warranted for full timing. Okay. So stepping inside of this unit, quickly panning around. This is actually a really cool floor plan. I'm not gonna lie, this is really cool for a travel trailer or conventional uh, towed toy hauler. Nice large sofa right here, which is all theater seating as well. Big windows all the way around. Over here you have your TV already in place, some nice cabinetry above. Down here you have your JBL entertainment system. Nice thermofoil countertop in this area. Would have liked to see an actual, you know, solid surface countertop up here, but it is solid surface. It's just the bottom is laminated to wood. You have more space around the stove. You actually get a little bit more space than most RVs whenever they try to fit them into these relatively narrow openings. Paying up. Nice soft closing hinges right here. Compact microwave in place. Stainless steel single basin sink. Plus a large, large cabinet underneath it for storage. Got some drawers right here, which are reinforced. This is gonna have a Furion 12 volt refrigerator. Very nice. Let's step up front and we'll work our way to the back. All right, so this is very unique for a floor plan and it's a great way to consolidate space. So your bedroom is in a slide out. That's really nothing that's too unique. You have a queen size bed. You have a really cool little shelf slash office right here with hidden storage underneath it, which is also kind of cool. You have your fuse, breakers, everything right there. Nice sliding mirror to cover all that up. You have some storage on top, but next to the bed is the bathroom. And it's a good size bathroom. It has two entries into it, so you don't have to have people come through the bedroom in order to get to the bathroom. You have a second entrance right there. Nice countertop, thermofoil, storage underneath. Then you have some more cabinetry storage right here and then you have medicine cabinet right there nice shower good size shower actually and it radiuses up right here so you have a lot of headspace so you can easily fit taller folks in here this is not a porcelain foot flush toilet but it is a where is the flusher yeah it is a foot flush toilet but it's plastic very very nice ceiling heights in here i think people definitely appreciate that very nice bathroom. Over here, I think I forgot to open up the pantry. That is a good size, respectable pantry. They're about a foot deep, each shelf. A lot of room 
nice solid sounding door. Again, you got these huge atrium windows in here, let a lot of cross ventilation in. Stepping into the garage. I believe this is a 13 foot garage. So you have your elevator system for your bunk beds back here. This turns into a dinette area as well. So you can fold these up and you have a table that will set between them. Both these can go all the way up to the top. So you have a lot of sleeping space for extra guests or people that come with you. And then when they're all the way up, you have a 13 foot long wide body garage to fit your toys in, along with all the cleats and anchors you might need to be able to strap it down safely. You have your Coleman mock air conditioning system in here, as well as one in the kitchen area. And then you have a half bath back here, which is really nice. So you not only have a half bath, but you have a half bath in a travel trailer that is also a toy hauler with an actual real living space. There's a lot of awesome perks with how they've designed this that are very, very unique, but very nice setup. And that is a porcelain foot flush toilet. So the front has a plastic, the back has porcelain. Very cool. Anyways, let's hop outside of this unit and see what the outside's all about. Okay, so starting from the front, working our way back, we have a power front tongue jack. You have a spot for two 20-pound propane cans. You have a spot for, it looks like, two batteries in this front storage area. In here, you're going to have your Cummins Onan generator. This is the QG4000 gas generator. Nice A-frame up front as well. Coming around scissor jacks right here, that's the exhaust for your generator. Looking underneath... This is gonna have a illuminated frame, which is kind of cool, but it's a 10 inch I-beam frame. And it actually has a drop frame section right here, which is cool. That's what gives you that really unique front storage area where the generator is. Your aluminum fold out steps. Pricing on this unit, MSRP of 90,499, 25,500 discount, 64,999 for the sale price. This is a 2023 31 T13. So it has a 13 foot garage bay in it. This is probably an outside shower area or controls for the radio. I don't really know because it's locked. Tires, this is gonna have the Westlake Super ST tires. It's also gonna ride on a standard triangle equalizer. So not an upgrade there, but that's easy enough to upgrade. You have your rear entry exit with the aluminum fold out steps as well. Nice large awning with LED light strip. Scissor jacks on the back also. Here's your back ramp slash patio area. Look at this big aluminum surround that they've put on here. That's super cool. And again, 13 foot garage. So you can pretty much fit most of the toys you'd probably want to bring with you. Look at that, another one. Really cool. Coming around this way. You have your 50 amp connection right here. This is your fuel station area, so they kind of have it shut off so people don't tamper with it. And then you're gonna have a fuel tank in here, one for your generator and then also another one for your toys. Cable driven slide. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to see that. So it does have a cable driven slide on this side and a rack and pinion slide over here for the bedroom. Plus you have a little bit of storage underneath. And that is locked, but I'm assuming that's going to be your wet panel or your wet bay. And this is the outside of your water heater with the vent actually removed outside of your furnace. Very cool unit. What do you guys think? This is a, uh, a unique offering from the folks at Alliance, and it definitely shows the fact that they're expanding and growing their brand into bumper towable units. But please leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on this unit. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.